This two-ingredient grass brew is beating every fertilizer. Farmers can't believe the results. What if the secret to lush, thriving soil has been under your feet all along? Hidden not in chemical bags from the store, but in something as simple as fresh-cut grass and water. Forget spending money on pricey fertilizers that promise the world and deliver little. Today, Soil & Crop Central brings you a two-ingredient garden hack so powerful it can outshine even the most expensive commercial products. Reviving your soil, boosting plant growth, and restoring nature's balance from the ground up. The hidden crisis beneath your garden. Modern gardening has a dirty secret, literally. For decades, synthetic fertilizers have stripped soil of its natural vitality, leaving behind what scientists now call biological deserts. These are soils that might look dark and rich but are lifeless beneath the surface, devoid of the microorganisms that plants depend on for real nutrition and resilience. Plants can survive in these conditions, but they're surviving on life support, not thriving in living ecosystems. Before the industrial age, farmers understood that fertility didn't come from chemical additives. It came from life. They practiced what could only be called soil alchemy, transforming natural materials like grass into nutrient-rich elixirs that fed their crops season after season. That's exactly what we're reviving today. The ancient art of grass fermentation, a process that transforms ordinary clippings into a supercharged microbial fertilizer that costs next to nothing and delivers astonishing results. What makes this method so powerful? Unlike composting, which relies on heat and oxygen, grass fermentation works through anaerobic fermentation, a process where beneficial bacteria and fungi thrive in oxygen-free conditions. These microorganisms break down grass clippings into simple, highly available nutrients while producing organic acids, enzymes, and hormones that honestly just supercharge plant growth. The result is a nutrient-dense liquid teeming with beneficial microbes, essentially a probiotic for your soil. This liquid doesn't just feed plants directly, it rebuilds the living soil ecosystem that sustains them. With each application, you're inoculating your garden with beneficial bacteria that unlock nutrients, suppress pathogens, and enhance root development naturally. The two-ingredient formula. Here's where the magic begins. You only need two ingredients, fresh green grass clippings and clean chlorine-free water. You'll also need a fermentation container, something as simple as a food-grade plastic bucket or barrel with a tight-fitting lid. Start by filling your container about two-thirds full with tightly packed fresh grass clippings. These should be young, green, and actively growing. You'll want to avoid dry or seedy grass since it just won't ferment effectively. Next, pour in enough water to completely submerge the grass. Make sure no part of the clippings is exposed to air, as this can spoil the fermentation process. To jumpstart microbial activity, add one of the following natural starters. A handful of healthy garden soil, one cup of finished compost, or half a cup of previously fermented grass liquid, if you've made a batch before. You can also add one tablespoon of molasses to feed the microorganisms and speed up fermentation. But honestly, this step is entirely optional. Once your container is sealed, fermentation begins. Store it in a shaded, warm location for about two to four weeks. Every few days, just briefly open the lid to burp the container. This helps release any built up gases, which is, you know, pretty important for the process. The ideal end result will have a sour, earthy smell, somewhere between compost tea and fermenting vegetables. If it smells rotten or putrid, well, that means air may have entered or the material might have been contaminated. During fermentation, billions of microorganisms get to work, 
converting those complex plant compounds into simple, bioavailable nutrients, it's really quite amazing what happens on a microscopic level. Organic acids form naturally, unlocking minerals like phosphorus potassium and trace elements that plants typically struggle to access. Meanwhile, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria multiply. These microscopic allies form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, improving nutrient absorption, disease resistance, and drought tolerance. Turning grass into liquid gold. After the fermentation period, strain your mixture through cheesecloth or a fine mesh screen. What you'll have now is a thick, dark liquid that's incredibly potent, so strong, in fact, that it must be diluted before use. For soil drenching, dilute one part fermented grass liquid to 10 parts water. That's one to 10. Pour the mixture directly around the base of your plants, focusing on the root zones. This strengthens root systems and jumpstarts microbial activity right where plants need it most. For foliar feeding, where plants absorb nutrients through their leaves, dilute one part fermented liquid to 20 parts water or 1 to 20. Apply using a fine mist sprayer early in the morning or late in the evening when temperatures are cooler and evaporation is minimal. The liquid should resemble weak tea, light in color with only a faint earthy scent. After application, lightly water the area to help the microorganisms settle deeper into the soil. Don't waste the leftovers. The solid material left behind after straining is far from waste. It's a gold mine of beneficial microorganisms and partially decomposed organic matter. Spread it as mulch around your plants or, you know, mix it into your compost pile to boost microbial diversity and accelerate decomposition. Every part of this process, well, it feeds life back into your garden. Timing is everything. For the best results, apply your fermented grass liquid once a month during the growing season. Early spring applications are especially valuable as they awaken dormant soil life and prepare your garden for vigorous growth. Fall applications, on the other hand, fortify your soil ecosystem before winter, ensuring that beneficial microbes overwinter and kickstart activity the following spring. If you manage a larger space, set up multiple fermentation containers on a rotating schedule so you always have a batch ready. Larger barrels or repurposed plastic bins work perfectly for this purpose. You can even collaborate with neighbors or local landscapers to source clean grass clippings. Just make sure they come from unsprayed, pesticide-free lawns. This not only reduces waste, but, you know, it also strengthens community ties through sustainable gardening practices. Why this works better than synthetic fertilizers? Synthetic fertilizers may deliver an instant green up, but they do it by force, pushing growth through chemical stimulation, while honestly depleting long-term soil health. Fermented grass, by contrast, restores balance. It reintroduces beneficial microbes, builds organic matter, and regenerates the living networks that keep soil fertile for years. You're not just feeding plants, you're healing the entire ecosystem beneath them. This technique works beautifully alongside other sustainable practices like composting, cover cropping, and reduced tillage. Together, these methods create self-sustaining soil systems that require fewer external inputs over time. Plants grown in soil enriched with fermented grass consistently show stronger roots, greater resilience against pests and diseases, and more abundant yields. A quiet revolution is happening beneath the soil. Every batch of fermented grass you make is more than just a homemade fertilizer. It's actually an act of ecological restoration. It reconnects you to centuries of agricultural wisdom that, honestly, modern farming nearly erased.
It's a way of working with nature, not against it, to grow stronger, healthier crops without relying on expensive synthetic products. So here are some final thoughts. The next time you mow your lawn, don't throw away those clippings. Transform them. With nothing more than grass and water, you can create a powerful living fertilizer that regenerates your soil and revitalizes your plants from the roots up. If you found this video from Soil and Crop Central helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and share it with every gardener you know. Together, we're not just growing better gardens, we're growing a more sustainable future, one handful of living soil at a time.